Good morning guys and welcome back to Wistful Woods Farm. I wanted to walk you guys through what we've done this week and all that we've got planned going through into next week. So we got this bed planted with the perennials and annuals in here. There's some calendula, snapdragons, the irises that we planted before, some salmon amore salvia, coreopsis, um, some more snapdragons and coreopsis. So this bed will be really pinks and purples and yellows and some oranges. There's a blue delphinium, some purple hollyhocks here to kind of make a border between like this front bed here and the bed as you're in the garden on the other side. Um, there's more snapdragons and um, agastachys. I planted orange and pink and a mix. Um, we got the remaining fruit trees done and I planted some snapdragons underneath. <clears throat> so we got the flowering plum planted, the other apple tree and the other peach tree. Um, some more snapdragons underneath the old plum trees. And the trees are starting to leaf out. <clears throat> this one actually had a hitchhiker, a catmint plant. And these are an experiment. They're the trimmings from when I pruned the trees last fall. Since I potted them up when I pruned them, I thought, well, maybe I'll try propagating them. So we'll see. Some of them have started to bud, so they may actually be viable propagations. Um, and I did that for all the trees. So we'll see which ones actually pull through. And then in these beds, we planted the onions around the outsides of this bed that bed and the farthest bed has garlic around the outside and then in here we planted kohlrabi and cabbage more cabbage on this side and cabbage along this far side and then scarlet kale along here and then savoy cabbage and then dazzling blue kale. And then wakefield cabbage, early wakefield cabbage, and then some more Savoy cabbage along that side. And then this one just has some thousand head kale, which will get really big, so I've spaced them pretty far apart. And then red Russian kale. But we'll get to planting the rest of it later on. Um, this week and then in this bed up here we planted different agastachys and the salmon amore salvia more agastachy and salvias all along here I have some daisies that I'm going to put in here too and some more Jupiter's beard And then we planted more of the salmon salvia in between um, the blueberries with some agastache and coreopsis. So this garden up here is going to be full of all different colors. Um, kind of wild. The garden here in the back, I wanted to stop mixing the color at where the garden gate is going to be. But we planted more agastache and Coreopsis in here with some more Snapdragons and um, some Lamb's Quarter. Then as you come in, this bed will primarily be um, apricots 
and pinks and whites and maybe a couple of purples but not very many so I planted some poppies the tags tipped over in the soil blocking trays so it's going to be a surprise we may relocate those poppies next year if the colors don't go but for the most part I think the colors should work the um, sedum is starting to fill in and then I planted some purple echinacea in here with snapdragons and agastache and it looks really sparse right now but when they get filled in it will be so lush and beautiful um, I do want to fit some crazy daisies in and then the strawberries are starting to fill in. I moved all the logs out of this area so we could get it mowed down so that the logs can go in and I can get it tilled and covered and planted in the next week. This was the big task for yesterday was getting the potato beds done. We're experimenting with the Lazy Gardener's way of planting potatoes, the Ruth Stout method. So I mowed the grass down really low, laid the potatoes on the grass, and then put about eight to 10 inches of straw on top of that. And I watered it down so that it didn't just blow away. Um, but we will see a lot of the potatoes that I already, that I had, I had saved from Utah. And they had shoots on them that were about a foot long, but I just laid them along the ground so hopefully they'll just root and grow up from there this bed is all Kennebec red potatoes this one is Yukon gold potatoes this one is russet and this one is another bed of Yukon gold potatoes. In this bed, I think so far, I've planted well over 70 different plants. So it, I don't know if I dare plant anything else. And it's been raining, which has been nice because I haven't had to water since this hydrant over here isn't functional right now um i've been dragging a hose 200 feet um but then over here in this bed there's some larkspur and more snapdragons and coreopsis um jupiter's beard just a whole bunch of annuals and perennials hopefully that will self-seed year after year Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day.